hello friends uh, our next topic is that minimization of dfa or optimization of dfa uh, as we know that uh, we optimize uh, two state uh, to a single state or we can say uh, we can reduce two state into a single state when the two states are equivalent to each other okay so for minimization of dfa first of all uh, we can understand uh, we have to understand that when the two state are equivalent are said to be equivalent so then the the two states say p and q are equivalent are equivalent or i can say the two state p and q in dfa can be replaced by a single state if if trans uh, with uh, transition function of p state with input w which belongs to one of the final state is equivalent to transition function with q state when with w input also belongs to one of the final state f and the second condition is if the transition function of p state p with w input which not belongs to one of the final state is same as transition function of q state with w input does not belongs to the one of the final state if these two condition fulfill then we can say that the p and q the two states are equivalent or we can replace these two state with a single state okay then the next point is that for the minimization of dfa we have to create some equivalence relationship okay and for that equivalence relationship we start from zero equivalent to n number of equivalent until we get the same last two state how if absolute w means the length of w input w is equal to zero then p and q are called as zero equivalent okay and if absolute w is equals to 1 then p and q are called as one equivalent similarly if absolute w is equals to n then p and q are called as n equivalent so with the help of this all this property we can minimize a dfa in which we can replace two states into a single state in which that two states are Uh, equivalent to each other so we can start with the help of an example suppose if this is our dfa okay is this is the dfa then we have to minimize or optimize this dfa so we can do uh, the minimization of dfa by a method called as partition method partition method okay so the first step of this partition method is step 1 that we have to remove that state remove that state which is not reachable which is not reachable from the initial state but if we see this dfa there is there is no such state from which i cannot reach from the initial state see here i can reach from this if q not is the initial state then i can reach q1 from q0 q2 from q0 okay i can reach from q0 to q3 also i can reach from q0 to uh, q0 to q4 also so step 1 is not applicable to this particular question but if this step is applicable then first of all remove that state from the dfa from where from the uh, that state which cannot be reachable from the initial state okay after that now we create the transition table for this particular dfa okay so if i create the transition table it look it will look like this q0 which is the initial state then i have q1 q2 Q three and Q four, which is the final state, 
we have input two inputs a and b from q not with a input i reach to q1 for q not with b input i reach to q2 similarly q1 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 and q3 q2 q4 which is the final state and q2 now now we create this zero equivalent and n equivalent table then how we create this first we create zero equivalent relationship this equivalent zero equivalent relationship can be created by we group all the non final state two as a one set and all the final state as a one set for example in all the five state it this dfa contain the five state in which q4 is the final state is the is the only state which is a final state and remaining q0 q1 q2 and q3 are the non final states so we group all the non final state as a one state or one set and the final state as a one set so q4 is the final state we group we separated this q4 from all these three st four states okay now we create with the help of this is zero equivalent now we create zero equivalent relationship how we create this see as we know that the q4 is not equivalent to all these states so we can write it as separately okay now we compare all these four state with each other to find whether they are equivalent to or not how we how we check this with the help of the transition table now check if i compare q0 and q1 with each other see in the transition table q0 and q1 with a input it will move to the same output there is no issue if i see if i compare q0 and q1 with b input it moves to q2 and q3 which is a different output but in case of different output we see we check uh we check that in the previous uh, equivalence relationship the two different output which is q2 and q3 are in the same set or in the different set they are in the same set q2 and q3 therefore q0 and q1 are equivalent to each other means q0 and q1 are equivalent okay now i can ch and very uh, check q0 with q2 or you can check q1 with q2 because q0 and q1 are equivalent therefore we can whether i check q0 with q2 or i can check q1 q q2 now if i compare q0 and q2 see here q0 and q2 with a input i will get the same output there is no issue and q0 and q2 with b input i will also get the same output it means q0 and q2 are in the same set in q1 set okay now the last comparison is q0 with q3 check q0 and q3 with a input we get the same output q1 there is no issue but if i compare q0 and q3 with b input the output will be q2 and q4 now check in the our previous equivalence whether the q2 and q4 are in the same set no that's why q0 and q3 are not equivalent and that's why q3 will be written down at separately so this is called one equivalence okay now we find two equivalent okay we have to do until the last two state remains the same okay here now zero equivalent if for two equivalents we check the one equivalent relationship in which q3 and q4 are not equivalent so we write it down it separately now first we check q0 and q1 see here for q0 and q1 with a input i will get the same output so there is no issue for q0 and q1 with b input i will get the different output that is q2 and q3 so if i if i found the comparison for q2 i have to check one equivalent in one equivalent whether q2 and q3 are in the same set no that's why q0 and q1 are not in the same set they will be separated out now if i now next comparison is q0 with q2 
If I compare Q0 and Q2 with A input, I will get the same output Q1. So there is no issue. And <coughs> sorry, if I compare Q0 and Q2 with B input, I will get Q2 and Q2 means the same output. That's why Q0 and Q2 are the equivalent sets and Q will remain separated out. Now, these two states are same? No. So, we have to find third equivalent relationship. Okay. Now, in the third, for this third equivalent relationship, I have to consider two equivalent in which Q1, Q3 and Q4 are the separate state. They are not equivalent. So, I have to check only two states whether they are equivalent or not. That is Q2, Q0 and Q2. Now, check Q0 and Q2. With A input, I will get the same output Q1. Okay. And for Q0 and Q2 with B input, I will also get the same output. That's why Q0 and Q2 are equivalent to each other. Means, now the last two state, that uh, last two relationship, that is 2 equivalent and 3 equivalent, they are, the states remains the same. So, we do not have to find further equivalence relationship and now we have to create a DFA your transition diagram with this with the help of these means in that diagram in that DFA we have to consider Q0 and Q2 as a single state Q1, Q3 and Q4 as a separate state so we create DFA like this Q0 and Q2 as a single state which is the initial state because why it is the initial state because q0 is the initial state okay then q1 is a different state okay then q3 is again a different state and q4 is a different state which is a final state as in the main question q4 is the uh, same uh, is the final state now with the help of this transition table we complete our DFA. See, Q0 with A input, it goes to Q1. Q0 with A input, it goes to Q1. Q0 with A input, it goes to Q1. Q0 with B input, it goes to Q2. As Q0 and Q1 are in the same state, so we draw like this. Now with Q1, with A input, it moves to Q1 itself. Q1 with B input, it moves to Q3, okay. Q2 with A, it moves to Q1. Q2 with move A, as we uh, write it down previously earlier. Q2 with B input, uh, where is Q2? Q2 with B input, it moves to B itself, okay. Then Q3 uh, with A input, Q3 with A input, it moves to Q1. Okay, then Q3 with B input, it moves to Q4. Then Q4 with A input, it moves to Q1. Okay, and the final is Q4 with B, Q2. Q4 with B is Q2. So, uh, as the, uh, the given DFA is this and the minimize, minimization of DFA, the minimum DFA or optimized DFA look like this. So this is how we uh, minimize or optimize our DFA. I hope you understand this and if you like our video, please subscribe our channel and share our video. Thanks for watching.